Breaking news, Nigerians. Her bad son DNA test after maths. See the shocking thing his wife did and what Mary Injoko revealed. <laughs> Fear woman. No. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. There has been several circulating rumors suggesting that the diseased individual known as Mabad may not be the biological father of the child in question. There has been a significant number of Nigerians expressing a desire for DNA test, texting in response to the public outcry. It has been claimed that the widow of the deceased individual Mabad sought legal assistance from human rights advocate Femi Falana San in a quest for justice following her husband's untimely demise on September 12, 2023. The circumstances surrounding his death were shrined in mystery and he was swiftly buried the next day. In an exclusive interview, Falana confirmed the widow's visit to his office during which she sought assistance in seeking legal records for her beloved slain spa. The individual provided reassurance to her regarding his unwavering commitment to uncovering the facts surrounding the tragic demise of the Nigerian rapper, singer, and composer. Furthermore, he expressed genuine condolences towards her and the entire Alaba family. In addition, Falana stated that he endeavored to arrange a meeting with Mr. Ido, the Commissioner of Police for Lagos State, during the meeting. The Commissioner informed Falana that an extensive investigation into the matter had been initiated. The aforementioned allegation indicates that Mabad, also known as Oladimiji Aloba, has left behind a recently widowed woman who visited our office on Tuesday seeking assistance in attempting justice for a disease spa. We went our we sent our sympathies to her and the entire Aloba family, assuring her of our commitment to diligently investigate the circumstances surrounding the untimely demise of the Nigerian rapper, musical and songwriter. It is not uh, noteworthy that the subject of considerable controversy arising from the increasing unavailability of information pertains to the demise of the individual in question, specifically a certain individuals from Nigerian advocates for the implementation of a DNA test to ascertain the genetic lineage of their progeny. There are some who have made extravagant assumptions regarding Mabas paternity with the child. In response, Mary Njoko, a well-known figure recognized for her progressive views, contributed a perspective to the ongoing discourse. In her Instagram story, she expressed disapproval towards those who insisted on requesting a DNA test from a grieving woman. According to her, Treat, according to a statement, a widow who provides her son's DNA for testing demonstrates honesty. Okay. The feeling of dead. The expression. Habba. This is too much. It's commonly, commonly used in informal. Okay, please pardon me. The feeling of the dread. The expression. Habba. Is a, a colloquial injunction. Uh, intergention commonly used commonly used in informal settings the individual in question has recently experienced the loss of her spa the paternal figure of her offspring has been misplaced the individual experienced the loss of their long-standing guardian and assistant allow her to mourn in peace if you are incapable of providing assistance it is advisable to refrain from exacerbating her distress. Honestly speaking, I don't even know why anybody should be 
you know, thinking about that. Someone who just lost her husband, just like that. And some persons are suggesting she should go for DNA test. Was there any time Mabal told them that he is suspecting the wife being unfaithful to him? Why this? This is really very harsh. It's harsh. Somebody lost her husband. Look at the way the husband died. And some persons are there talking here and there. You know one thing, eh? Even though she's not a good woman, even though she's not a good woman, it's only God with Georgia. Even though she was never there to support her husband, it's only God with Georgia. But even when you feel she's not a good woman, you understand? Why I'm saying this, I'm seeing so many persons saying, let her go for the DNA test because she's not, she was not nice to the husband. You know, these things are easily said just like that. If it not happen to you, even though say she be wicked person, eh? As the husband dies, so she will feel the impact. She will go feel the pain. So definitely, she's feeling pains right now. You can't tell because you have not you have not been there. No late person when be say that thing don't happen to. Now you go feel explain to you how it be. You understand? Dragging a widow right now. For this, it's like you are adding more pepper in a already fresh injury. This is too much now, Nigerians. Eh? May she finish one first. Dragging her right now for DNA test, you no know, good. Like as I said before, even when you feel say she be bad person, she was never good to her husband, which you cannot really tell. Because all these things now, when they happen now, they say, this one say, this say, they say, they say. You know, the stand say, if your basket no fall, nobody go see what you carry. You. Now, because our basket fall right now, people don't, they talk, they talk. You understand? Now, so life be. But make her not give her peace. Let her mourn her husband in peace. The way the man died. Now shock. But bringing this DNA test. Now what hala be this? I beg my people. I'm dropping it here. Make we hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.